guys, and welcome to Starborn Frontiers. 400 years from now, Earth has perished and humanity has made its home among the stars. The struggle for a place in space has left a lasting legacy of internal conflicts and brutal fraction wars. The Abyss appeared without warning, causing chaos in the frontier. As a commander, your ultimate goal is to discover the secrets of the Abyss and prevent it from consuming everything in its path. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brito. Today we're going to be checking out Starborn Frontiers, which releases on Steam on October 14th. Shout out to Solid Clouds for sponsoring the video. They gave me full autonomy to go ahead and give my honest opinions and reactions to the game. So if you're looking for something new, maybe stick around and let's see. There was no predicting the abyss. A black void, impenetrable by modern sensors. It unveiled without warning at the edge of colonized space. The earliest scouts returned with stories of riches beyond compare, and quickly drew the eyes of the biggest factions on the frontier. So far from the governing laws of the soul system, everything seemed set to trigger a new gold rush, or a bloodbath. For two weeks, Mega corporations as wealthy as governments waged a turf war like the galaxy had never seen. To quell the fighting, the MPL and Frontier Legion built a blockade around the Abyss, holding back colonization from mega corporation and independent commanders alike. But even as the corporations shook hands, trouble brewed underneath. Contracts flooded the market, offering support and riches to anyone bold enough to pierce the blockade. Some say it would only take one nudge to send the frontier back into chaos and open access to the abyss once more. Hell yeah, brother. Chapter one, the contract. Hey, this looks pretty good. Commander, our first target has been located. I am detecting several shockwaves near our target coordinates. Moving in now. Units have deployed in your... <laughs> I'm gonna drop the voice here. Units have deployed in your planned formation. They'll engage when you give the order, Commander. These strays wouldn't last a minute against House Mazarov's fleet. I was hoping for a more interesting fight. They are insolent little vermin, aren't they? Say, oh, it's a girl. I can't do a girl voice. Say the word, we'll teach them a lesson that sticks. Welcome to the Spiral Expanse. You're up, Commander. Engage at will. All right, find the Butcher, battles won. Engage, all right, here we're engaging. Easy. Okay, so it's wave-based. I like that. Additional units now ready to deploy. Valiant reporting in. I'm with you. Where do you need me, Commander? Click and drop. Alright, so straight clapping. Alright. Now I'm assuming... Oh. Cutscenes? Could use sound effects for that specific cutscene. Another slaughter comes, you'll die like all the rest. So I'm assuming the way that this is gonna work is we set up all these guys and then auto battle. Well, I mean, that's not fair. Homie's a level 20. Commander, our squad is down. We'll have to retreat, prepare for jump. All right, so we're fighting for our place in space. We just came up against somebody who clapped our cheeks, and now we're probably gonna have to build ourselves back up so that we can return the favor. Unfortunately, we currently only have the resources to repair one ship. We'll have to find other ways to rebuild our fleet. Well, I'm gonna go here because uh, 
uh, I mean, you know, I love my wife, but I, I like this character specifically. A veteran of the 24th Legion best known for the hit simulcast drama based on her career. She boasts an especially wide targeting radius and a sharp uptick in firepower when supported by buffs from her comrades. The Butcher. Commander, our contract still requires us to eliminate the Butcher. Might I recommend a bit more caution this time? Say less, brother. One thing at a time. Let's get to work. Yeah, because I mean, we gotta work our way up to level 7. It's time to teach these marauders a lesson. For the Legion! Yeah, no chance. They had no chance, bro. It's our only way out is forward. That's what I've been saying all my whole life. The only way out is through. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty legit, I think. I like it so far. I don't like our odds here. Let's use some of the resources we've gained to improve our chances. Especially if you're looking for something new to try to change it up. I mean, outer space is pretty sick, no? Here you can find detailed information on your unit, and most importantly, upgrade this unit's level. That's definitely something we want to do. So let's drop some upgrades. Level 2. Oh, you want me to keep going? Alright, level 4. Let's do it. I eventually want like this legendary, like a, like a huge star cruiser, I think that would be cool. Commander, I'm picking up a nearby distress signal. This could be a much needed ally. Calling unidentified vessel. Glad to see something other than a marauder signature out here. Please send assistance if you can. Hey, this guy's name is Shepard. Mass Effect? Hmm, that's a Binderberg. Defense ship. They're quite sturdy. If we deploy beneath him, we should be able to win without casualties. All right, so placement is going to be important. So this is considered to be under him, right? All right, let's do it. Let's for him first. I mean, if I was, if I was these guys, I'd probably just like leave. Seeing everybody around me going down, I'd be like, oh, you know what, maybe, maybe I need to leave. Count level is up to two. Okay, so we have affinity advantages. Our antimatter is neutral. Electric beats, thermal, thermal beats, chemical, chemical beats. How do I? Oh, these are the skills. So we can see deals AOE damage, gains legion discipline, which increases attack and security by 15 and speed by 10% for two turns and deals 115 damage increased by 20 for each buff on itself. Alright, now this time, things will go differently. Hey, wait, he dropped to level 7? He was level 20 when we first fought him. Wait, Commander, Butcher's targeting pattern is strange. I'm scanning their weapons now. Take a look. Butcher is using skip targeting, and we'll hit our second ship first. We'll have to be clever with your unit placement. Commander, we should deploy our defensive unit in the back this time. Put you in the front. Alright. I'm confident we got it. We got this one now. Yeah, see, he's he's got nothing on us. Yeah, we got we got it. Why is why did we miss? Where, where's my third star? Some useful materials. You can use them in the upgrade units in the hangar. So let's go to the hangar. Let's upgrade. Activating the equipment menu now. The right equipment can make a unit far more powerful than it appears, so it's worth investing in. Alright, so now we can equip. What is this? Oh, it's a weapon. Plus 15% attack. It's a two-setter. The weapon looks extremely promising. An excellent base to start upgrading. Okay. Upgrade our weapon. Improve every four levels. We can add an additional bonus to its core, so a new subset, uh, substat is what I'm thinking. Two, three, four. Okay. Do we get to choose, or is, is it auto? Okay, I think it auto auto chose. Chapter two. Commander, I'm picking up a very direct distress signal coming from this region. Given the frequency, I believe it may be our contact. Oh, we have campaign rewards. 
Something free in the shop. All right, what's this? A dollar for this epic uh, recruit. Get the free daily, some energy. Event. Some equipment packs. Premium plus. All right, so that's what the shop looks like. to uh, get that boost and of course the daily login uh, playtime rewards Mr. Burrito Slayer I guess we're just gonna be Mr. Burrito Slay okay, take that take that all right let's see who we get oh we have a, a specialist one too all right let's pull the, the blue one all right we got a we got a Leica Yinjian. I like this one. Oh, okay, so here in the inbox, free legendary unit on Discord. Nice, I like that. Alright, so let's claim everything. This is gonna help us out. The different factions here. Marauders, the Terran Combine, Atlas Syndicate, Vinderberg, Gaelic, MPL, the Mars Prosper League, Frontier Legion, Zawok, Tinchal, and Ever Living. Let's go ahead and buy two to um, recruitment things. Let's go pull. Boom, check it out. We can do a 10 pull. Check this, check this, check this. 10 pull. Okay. Is this one's, wait. This one's yellow. Is this a legendary? Oh no, never mind. Damn, I got excited. Okay, so the, the borders tell me these are all rares. Let's do our, our three over here. Almost, almost, uh, yeah. We're not, we're not there yet. Maybe Mercy will kick in. Oh, wait. Is this in it? No, that's a rare. And another rare. Okay. This is cool. They have an auto rank system. That's good for quality of life. This one has a one on it. What does this mean? Equip. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's three different types of... Oh, there's four. All right, so there's four different roles that we have. We have attacker, defender, debuffer, and supporter. Different affinities, rarities. Let's take a look at our main one over here. We can promote when what? When can we promote? Uh, we're not there yet. But we can equip. Let's just check it. A lone MPO ship is hailing us. I'm pulling the visual now. There you go, I'm your contact, but introductions will have to wait. Take out these security forces. I'll lend my support. Tap on shelter to see the pattern of her repair abil abilities. So it's going to be around here. I would suggest deploying our main attacker to deal with this. In the back. Defensive units in the front. Okay. To protect. So let's do this. There you go. There's that burn. That inferno. And she's repairing. So we saw that our HP was going down, but she was able to repair us. Or our shields were going down. Unfortunately, Sifupa's forces are the least of our worries right now. I like this. This is... I, I just... I can appreciate this, because this looks really cool. Like, the art style, and then all of these ship guys, these, these characters, just with each other like this. Wanted DOA. Completing high-value bounties like Fenrir will reward us with powerful and rare equipment. Shepard's right, this is a rare opportunity. A fleet is only as powerful as its equipment, I agree, and I highly recommend taking on any bounties that we come across. 
Fenrir is not just another marauder, she's far smarter and better equipped than even Butcher. We'll need to upgrade the fleet to stand a chance. Let's do this. Let's, let's upgrade. Let's, let's, up, let's, let's, you know. Okay, so now we can promote. To rank up a unit, you can use the main, you can use a mainframe upgrade like the one we just picked. Oh, so this is kind of like um, the units we use to upgrade. So we could use that that uh, mainframe, or we can use other ships. Consume the other ships. Upgrade also. Let's upgrade our defensive unit to 10 so we can rank it up. Oh, did they give me a bunch of upgrade series? Well, I guess we could just hold it down to upgrade, and then promote. We can also repurpose parts from other ships. There you go. Let's do that. We'll take that. We'll use you. That's a big ship, too. Hey, this is pretty solid. We got this. Can't stand the power of friendship. We did it. Alright, stage 2-7. Let's finish this. And I added a bomb, a bomb ship, so now we can place bombs. Yeah. She had no chance. Chapter 2 completed. Unlock the epic. Oh, we can unlock an epic if we finish the cadet path. Let's click this. Get these rewards. Completing these upgrades is an excellent way to gain resources that can improve our fleet power. There you go. And now we make our jump to three. Shelter represents Arson, a group of private individuals attempting to investigate the origins of the Abyss. One week ago, several of their contractors fell off the map outside of the Arcadia system. Based on their last reports, she believes that the missing ships were closing in on a new lead. I gotta, I gotta go back and get my, get my third star here. There you go. Yeah, so honest opinion after playing it for about an hour, this is something I would try out and invest more time into. And if you want to do this too, links will be down below. You can get it on Steam, which goes live on October 14th, I think. And you can get the mobile app as well. This could be something new for you to try, especially this whole aesthetic. This is, like I said, uh, different for me and I like it.